through that one? Yeah. This is Red Bluff, uh, 60 k's north of Quabba Station, or, or Quabba Campground I should say, it's all part of the same station, and it's beautiful. There's Ian and Cooper there just going for a walk, we're hoping that we can find a spot um, where we can actually get down to the water and have a little swim. So we've been a week at Quabba Station. And Red Bluff is part of Quabba Station, or it's owned by Quabba. So we've just come down here for a few nights over the weekend, and then we'll go back to Quabba for another week. We've been doing a bit of work there, so jim has been doing a little bit of cleaning around some of the accommodation and the ablutions. And I spent a day um, just emptying bins and doing some fence repairs. And I think um, next week they got a bit more work for us. So pretty keen to do another week on the station, just helping out. And we'll be staying in a bus. The other guys that stay there, they've got a they've got a bus, a camp bus, but because they're, you know, working the season at the station, they've got accommodation there, so they said we can stay in the bus. It's so luxurious. A bit more space. We have realised that the the Troopy is awesome for um, mobility and access, and it's a real quick setup and pack away, and you can go anywhere with it. But the price we pay is lack of space, so all the cooking is. Um, sort of outside unless it's really windy which it is a lot of the time then we've got to try and cook inside but we're making it work this random track and um, took us down to the beach, just tiny little bit of sand down here. Bay. It's about a 40k drive north of uh, Red Bluff. How's the water, Gem? Wonderful. How's the water, Coop? <laughs> <laughs> you like calling up in the water, eh? So, 
just if you're coming to Nalu Bay from either Quadra Station or Red Bluff, when you get to the station, you have got to go through um, a couple of farm gates. You can almost drive through the station pretty much to get down here. So, yeah, a couple of gates. We thought we were driving somewhere that we shouldn't have been. Maybe like driving you know, through someone's property, which we were. But that's just how you get down to the, to the bay. Uh oh, here comes the claws. When Cooper's swimming through the ocean, he comes towards you and he likes to run his front claws straight down your body and they're pretty sharp. So you've got to get away from them. Well, Nalu Bay turning it on today. It's pretty nice. We've got the snorkel out just now, but it's real sandy here, so there's nothing to see. But um, we might just take a little walk up the beach that way. Or a bit further south of the beach, and looks like there's a bit of reef over there, so... Saturday and we're at Quabba Station still just been preparing for the um, cyclone that's inbound it's due to hit sort of tomorrow afternoon stroke Monday morning so I've just been helping Bob secure all the doors and all the buildings secure the windows shut and until the bins secure anything that can turn into an airborne projectile and we've actually put our troopy into one of the sheds as well just in case we get any serious hail so Bus life during a cyclone. Ian is cooking some fresh quabba eggs. Eeks. Eeks. And we have beans and we have mushrooms. It's a bit wild out there. Mmm. Look at that! Hey. There you go, you were saying you wanted to see it working properly. Yeah, alright. Well, update. Windy, lots of dust blowing around, and now we've got some rain. So, good opportunity to catch up with some uh, laptop stuff, i.e., sort out some of the photos and the drone footage and the GoPro footage. And I was just having a rummage through some of the gear, and I found this telescopic um, GoPro arm, um, um, or what do you call it? A GoPro it's selfie, selfie stick. stick, that's it, yeah. So, how good is this? Telescopic, eh? Cabin fever has set in already. <laughs> we just had some breakfast, got to do some dishes. Other than that, we're just cruising. Only about another eight hours to go of the day just to cruise. <laughs> Cooper's doing plenty of relaxing. Jim's just cruising. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think Clobber skipped the worst part of the um, cyclone and to be honest I think the, the, the eye of the storm was a little bit further south like through Cowberry and Geraldton. Me and Jem back to work today, Jem's got to go and do a bit of cleaning, clean up one of the chalets and the ablutions. It's a bit of a dust storm yesterday so everything's covered in sand and um, I'm going to go around with Bob and just help uh, put all the bins up, um, pick up anything that's blown around. I think he's got a few shade shade clocks or a few sh uh, shade chowders that are blown apart so just got a few little bits to repair there but otherwise it's pretty it's a uh, pretty good good nick around here so yeah with some blue sky still windy but nowhere near as windy this is sort of a standard type of wind i reckon this is ian in the workshop busy doing some work burning the washing line How's it going? Pretty good. Yeah? Yep. Nearly finished? No. <laughs> so we'll dig the hole. Find some bolts. Yep. But yeah, it's going good. Here's Cooper with the station dog, Tucker. This is one of the sheds where I've been doing a bit of work with Bob. And we've just been doing a little bit of fiberglass and fixing up some uh, new dunnies, toilet seats, ready to go out in the field. Actually, I think these ones are heading down to Red Bluff, but yeah, a bit of plywood, a bit of pipe, fiberglassing, grader, looks like an oldie. This old military truck as well, which they use for hauling heavy loads. I think they put the big sheep pen on the back, but yeah, still runs. It looks like a bit of a weapon. Okay, so our 15 days here at Quabba are done and uh, today uh, this morning we're moving on so it's 11 o'clock we're just about to leave Quabba station and we're going to head back into Carnarvon and grab some supplies and then probably um, head out of town to a little spot called Rocky Pool stay the night tonight and then um, we're waiting for something to turn up in the post at um, Quabba post office so we'll swing back in tomorrow it's due in tomorrow so hopefully by the time we come in tomorrow we'll be able to pick that up and then uh, we'll as soon as we get that parcel, we'll cruise on up towards Exmouth. But um, for now, goodbye to Quabba. This is all the water left over from um, the tail end of Cyclone Soroja that came through uh, on Sunday. Sunday, Monday, yeah. Didn't really get too bad where we were at Quabba. Not sure about Carnarvon, probably much the same because it's only an hour away, not even. But uh, Calbarry was hit quite bad 